Okay. What I would like to talk about is how Wikipedia is often studied, and also in the particular sort of digital methods contributions to the study of Wikipedia. Um, because Wikipedia uh, is, as it says on the website, is an online encyclopedia, it most frequently, arguably, is studied in terms of its encyclopedia-ness, um, the extent to which it meets the standards and the quality uh, of, a, of, a, of an uh, encyclopedia, um, be especially because it's, or primarily because it's not authored by um, experts or not authored in the way that encyclopedias are, are traditionally authored, but rather through um, collaborative auth authorship, rather through um, the so-called uh, uh, wisdom of the crowd, or, or it's crowdsourced, crowdsourced knowledge. It's also studied, however, in a, in a variety of other ways. Another one is um, as a, as, and this is related, but also different, as a, as a kind of publicity management tool. Um, so to what extent um, is Wikipedia actually just a sort of soapbox or, a, or the voice of um, particular individuals trying to polish um, their image or corporations trying to polish their image yeah so so um, and and point and then point to the online encyclopedia saying look um, you see this is this is this is this is the th these are the facts this is the uh, this is the un unvarnished truth this is the unbiased situation um, when in fact the authors of those articles have an interest uh, in the uh, in the article, right? So, so Wikipedia articles on a particular corporation could be could be authored by that corporation uh, anonymously, for example, um, in order to put a particular uh, spin on the on the organization. So that's another way. Um, the third way that that uh, Wikipedia is oftentimes studied is in the context of uh, free labor um, and the critique of the the digital economy as as running as impoverishing um, industry after industry so this is another example of course uh, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica uh, I guess it was last year announced that it's no longer going to print um, its encyclopedia um, and and the death of Britannica, the uh, the set the you know in some ways the uh, some kind of foundational encyclopedia or or the most well known one uh, in the English language um, um, goes the way of the internet. So there's a new media once again because of the because of the the model of free uh, brings down yet another institution. So, so, so in, in the context of free labor, also in the critiques of um, the exploitation of um, uh, the exploitative digital economy and the exploitation of of um, of, of text workers. Um, so, so. Uh, however, Wikipedia is is um, because of its principles, because because it promotes open access. Um, because itself is a non-profit, um, is not oftentimes uh, critiqued for the exploitation of free labor. Uh, but nevertheless, it's sometimes studied uh, along these lines. It's also studied um, as a bureaucracy, as one of the m most well-functioning bureaucracies in, in the world, um, operating according to principles that are referred to as stigmergy. Um, and that stigma refers to um, how, um, for example, ants uh, coordinate their activities, building ant hills, um, getting a lot of work done, uh, but not necessarily um, uh, or not knowing what the goal is of the, of the whole. So it's the micro-coordination of activities um, that, that Wikipedia does, does so well. Um, and finally, uh, another way that Wikipedia is studied is 
having a relationship with Google. Um, now, it's, 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 why is it that, that when you type a query into Google, a substantive query, Wikipedia is always the top result? Um, is it hard, hard coded in? Um, why is it that Wikipedia uh, is al always comes out on top? The, in fact, uh, the, uh, as, as, I, as I wrote, um, the uh, head of Encyclopedia Britannica a couple of years ago called the relationship between Wikipedia and Google symbiotic. So, so, so they're, 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 they're um, uh, in some sense, inseparable. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well. Okay, um, the first one, uh, the Wikipedia as encyclo it's encyclopedia um, There's a very, very famous study that was published in, in 2005 in the journal Nature, um, which uh, hit, made the headlines around the world. And that is that Wikipedia, it was found uh, by the editors at, uh, at, the, at the journal Nature, that Wikipedia is nearly as accurate as, as Encyclopedia Britannica. Um, and of course, this was, th 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 this was a, a finding um, that, in some sense, validated um, crowd sourcing, crowd uh, wisdom on, on the one hand, and on the other hand, um, the Wikipedia project, of course, itself, as, uh, and, and the idea of, of um, collaborative authorship, the idea of um, the, the, the principles that Wikipedia are based on, that they, that they, uh, that they work, that they function, um, that this model of creating an encyclopedia, in some sense, works. Now, um, what I want to do is just take you behind the scenes of this study for a second, because you will have, may have heard of this study or you may have heard of these headlines, but how do you actually um, compare uh, um, two encyclopedias? So what they, what they did um, is they took um, uh, a little over 40 entries or articles from Britannica as well as uh, uh, Wikipedia, and they uh, asked uh, and and they removed the so they did, did sort of blind reviews. They removed the the names Britannica and Wikipedia from the articles, and they gave them to experts in their in the respective fields. And, and most of the articles, this is the journal Nature. Most of the articles were taken uh, from from the from sort of the the hard sciences, let's say. Um, and then the reviewers um, were asked to. Uh, find errors uh, and inaccuracies, um, and um, they were given instructions along these lines. And so they, um, these are some of the, the errors that are identified for the various uh, um, articles that, that they looked at. They looked at Agent Orange, they looked at Archimedes' principle, they looked at um, the biography of, the, um, of Hans Bethe. Um, uh, uh, who was the who was the developer of the um, uh, uh, one? So not the atomic bomb, but the one of the major bombs, not the neutron bomb, the one in between, out of plutonium, I think. Um, uh, so they looked at a series of entries, and then and then they 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 sort of pulled out the the errors, um, and they found that um, of, in these 42 articles, they found that Wikipedia had 162 errors or inaccuracies and Britannica 123. So there was quite, quite close. Um, and they thereby concluded that, that, that uh, Wikipedia is, is nearly as, as accurate. Now, what's important, and there have been many studies subsequent to this one, by the way, and a lot of the studies um, have not found Wikipedia to be nearly as accurate as other other encyclopedias. But what's important is where it's nearly as accurate. And what, 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 is, Wikipedia, what is Wikipedia? In some sense, it's a different sort of encyclopedia. Um, it is good um, at, um, at uh, particular types of articles. So it's, it's because, it, because, it, because it of, its, of its breadth, so it has many, many, many articles. So, so, it's, so Wikipedia is good in the sense that, that, it's, that it's the breadth of its, coverage, of its coverage is vast. 
Um, secondly, it, it's also very good at, uh, current, like a, at contemporary current events. Um, it's very good at um, um, uh, like, uh, you know, tr uh, not trivial things, but more mundane or, or things that are normally not, you would normally not encounter in an encyclopedia. Um, so, it, so, that, so, it's, so it's very good at specificity. And, and then these, these specific subject matters um, in, in a number of fields, in the hard sciences, are very good. But there are also a number of fields where, where, it's, where Wikipedia is not as good um, and where um, there, are, there is an encouragement made, for example, there's to edit Wikipedia. Certain communities encourage their uh, scientists, their experts, to edit Wikipedia. For example, there's an annual day dedicated to editing or creating content and editing the pages of great female scientists every year, um, one day a year, and then and then there's parallel events are organized uh, and people work on on Wikipedia. Okay, um, the uh, second way that Wikipedia is oftentimes studied is as a publicity management tool, um, and. One of the um, important aspects of this is anonymous editing. So you can edit anonymously, and the, what you then leave behind is your IP address only. Now, um, there have been any number of celebrated cases of, of entries being anonymously edited, um, which have um, caused, uh, again, headlines or have caused certain, certain issues. Um, the, probably the most famous one was um, the article by a guy by the name of John Siegesthaler. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. In his, in his entry, um, it was written that he participated in the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And it, and it stayed in, the, in that article for like about six months until he found it. And, and then he uh, approached Jimmy Wales himself, um, saying, "You know, this, this is this is not only inaccurate, but it's it's libelous. Uh, how can how can this encyclopedia, so-called encyclopedia, have this kind of information um, in there?" Um, and uh, a, a guy by the name of Daniel Brandt, who ran the project Scroogle that we talked about previously, he traced through the IP address. Um, the, the author of that particular uh, portion of, of John Siegestow's uh, bi biography to this guy um, um, in somewhere in the U.S. who um, said, oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I edited it. I thought this was some sort of a joke uh, platform. Um, so, so Wikipedia uh, has also been, um, uh, you know, the, in some ways, the subject of, of quite a lot of controversy surrounding um, not only its accuracy, but also like sort of slandering or, 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 or being libelous um, different, different individuals. So, so on the basis of that particular episode, um, they instituted new policies about, about pages for living, living individuals. Um, and also on the basis of that incident and others, um, Virgil Griffith, uh, a student at the time at, at Caltech um, created a system um, called the Wiki Scanner, uh, which allowed people to look up the uh, um, uh, who made an anonymous edit. So, on the basis of the IP address and um, um, IP to uh, IP to uh, to location databases, you could look up who made anonymous edits, and I want to draw your attention to probably the most famous one in this country. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you've heard of this case. Uh, it's uh, we we refer to this as the Royal Edit, um, and this is the case of um, um, Prince Friso, the late now. Prince Friso, um, and his uh, bride-to-be at the time, uh, Mabel. Now, Mabel um, had an interesting, let's say, checkered past. And she was, 
I had a relationship with a sort of drug kingpin by the name of Brownsma. Um, and when she was interviewed by the royal uh, uh, interviewers, or by the state, in fact, about her past, um, she uh, gave uh, what was referred to as uh, misleading and false statements about her, her past, in particular her relationship with the, with the drug kingpin. Um, now, in Wikipedia, um, what happened was, this is in 2006, um, that um, her, her Wikipedia entry of Mabel once read that she gave incomplete and false information, uh, and then it was edited, um, and it just says incomplete information. Now, who made this edit? Well, with Griffith's tool, developed San Francisco, or developed uh, in the west coast of the US, it was found that the royal family, uh, in fact, or the, that, the, that the IP address came from the, the, the royal household. Um, and so, so, so in terms of publicity management, um, this is a, this is a, 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 a well-celebrated case. Now, what is, um, what is less known in this particular uh, sordid history of a Wikipedia edit. What is less known is that this was, this was reverted back to this about five minutes later and has never been changed again. Um, so this is the, the, the footnote of the story, that, that in fact um, this, this royal edit um, did not endure. Uh, and, and this is also the story of that, that uh, what I talked about previously as, as mer meritocratic uh, knowledge. Right? So it doesn't matter the pedigree or the owner or, or of the information, uh, but rather because of the principles of the system, the built-in principles, um, the, the, this, this, this correct information uh, endures. Now, I want to mention one other famous um, edit. I don't know if, I'm, if I should bring this up when, when Jimmy Wales comes uh, in, in January. Um, but this is his, his page. And um, it once read that Wales, um, together with Larry Singer, Sanger, um, founded Wikipedia. And then Wales himself sort of kind of brushed, airbrushed, <laughs> as the Soviets would say, airbrushed out. Um, Sanger as the co-developer of Wikipedia and just left himself as the sole uh, founder. Um, now I haven't I haven't actually looked into this into this more more deeply to to see um, um, you know the, the the wider story of this and and and, and whether Wales um, has changed it back, for example. I mean maybe we can look that up. But in, but in any case, this is another classic um, sort of so, so Wikipedia is a kind of a kind of historical kind of airbrushing um, system, you know, where you can sort of just slightly change some of the details to polish uh, history. Okay, I want to talk about the third way that, that, that Wikipedia is often studied, and this is um, as um, in, in the in the context of the digital economy in the context of um, crowd labor, uh, uh, wisdom of the crowd as well, as being, um, in fact, uh, like v very, very um, meticulous and very accurate and very quick and very vigilant. So Wikipedians um, have been thought of as uh, ex you know, extraordinarily um, careful, um, working, uh, you know, staying up late at night and watching pages. Uh, and so, if, and so if, an if an edit is made um, um, to a page, then, then these vigilant Wikipedians are right there looking at the edit, evaluating it, um, changing it, reverting it, as I said before with, with, uh, with, with Princess Mabel's page, um, that, that uh, edit was changed back nearly right away. Um, uh, there have been a couple of, there have been a couple of um, uh, reasons why Wikipedians are considered to be 
particularly vigilant. And, and the one was um, this particular experiment that Alex Halloway did, and also others have done it before, and you will have re read about this in, in your readings. Um, who went, this is an academic, who went and inserted errors into Wikipedia to see what would happen, you know, to see how, see how the system works. Um, now, it's, it's the, the, the ethics of, of doing so are, are rather questionable, um, whether you want to sort of vandalize a, 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 a knowledge project like that for, for, uh, for academic purposes. Um, so the ethics are, are, are tricky. Um, but nevertheless, what, what Halloway uh, found, and this is his quote in his paper was, I went, I changed, and they conquered. What he found was that Wikipedians were, were extremely vigilant. Also, um, in, um, in John Udell's um, um, heavy metal umlaut movie, which, which, is, which is the movie on, on the changes to a Wikipedia uh, page, uh, which we reference uh, last week, as, as an example of, of a history of a, of a, of a web page. Um, if you remember, if you, if you saw the, that movie, Heavy Metal Umlaut, um, he, he writes how, how amazed he is at how quickly uh, vandalism on, on Wikipedia, how, the, how quickly that's, that's uh, uh, corrected, um, and, and therefore how vigilant uh, Wikipedians are. And a lot of the terms um, that have been uh, coined for um, this kind of work uh, also refer to these, to these humans uh, as being quite special. Um, these are some of the terms, crowdsourcing, um, open source intelligence, wisdom of the crowds, collaborative knowledge, army of volunteers. And, th and all of these quotations come from a particular period of time uh, when um, when new media was sort of heralded as having this sort of new model of, of knowledge production. Um, but what's important um, uh, to know, um, in fact, is that Wikipedia um, or, or relies on bots um, and, uh, and all kinds of software. So if and, and, and so many of the authors of those terms, those studies, have forgotten about the bots. So they f forgot or didn't realize that if something's edited and you're, you're watching a page, then you get an email saying that, that the Wikipedia page has been edited. So then you, you will go there and look at the page and look at the edit and evaluate it. So, that, so in some fundamental sense, the vigilance of the crowd um, is in fact a vigilance of the of 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 a, of a bot assisted or a bot a, a bot crowd, uh, a software crowd. Um, so that's really important to know. So I'll come back to that in a second. Okay. The the last um, way that uh, that Wikipedia is often studied um, is its relationship with Google. Now, um, you may or may not be aware that that when you introduce a new article to Wikipedia or you make a point in an article or uh, you, you uh, introduce content in, into an article or you introduce and you, and you reference it, um, the, 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 uh, the sources that you use um, must, uh, uh, must be, their existence is based on Googling them. So, so, you, so Wikipedians are constantly using Google um, in order to uh, wor work out whether the knowledge in Wikipedia, whether the content in Wikipedia is reliable, accurate, etc. So, so Wikipedia is a, a ext uh, Google's extremely important source. Secondly, um, as I said before, when you when you type in substantive queries into Google, Wikipedia comes out on the top uh, uh, most of the time. Now, most recently, um, there have been uh, some articles written about. The, the sort of pending uh, decline of Wikipedia, so that there are fewer editors, for example, and there's um, um, less traffic. Now, one of the reasons that have been put forward for the pending decline of Wikipedia um, is um, the introduction of Google's knowledge graph. So when you type into Google, um, 
query, uh, put it in the worksheet, type in Leonardo da Vinci, for example, there'll be uh, on, the, on the right panel, there'll be, a, there'll be a one box that has, you know, picture of da Vinci, place of birth, date of birth, et cetera, and capsule summary of, 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 of the, the man. Um, and f- apparently, since the introduction of the knowledge graph, uh, since that, the amount of traffic um, that uh, Wikipedia is getting from Google, first of all, has declined. Uh, and secondly, its overall traffic figure also has declined. Um, and here are the graphs that have been introduced. Uh, this is very, very recent stuff. Um, indicating across multiple uh, local domain spa- uh, countries, local domain Googles, or, 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 or country domains, um, that with the introduction of the knowledge graph in various languages, uh, Wikipedia has declined. Germany, Spain, uh, and, and, and others. So this is, the, in some sense, the first evidence of now, this, in some ways, the tables are being turned uh, uh, on Wiki- Wikipedia used to benefit so mu- very much from its relationship with Google. And now Google is sort of like, uh, ironically enough, most of the knowledge graph content comes from Wikipedia. So Wikipedia, is, uh, or Google is sort of in some sense taking Wikipedia's content and then depressing its traffic. Uh, so this is, uh, I was thinking about making this the subject of a new Google movie, um, which so. Okay, so I want to mention a couple of the contributions um, made to, uh, to Wikipedia research. Um, the first one um, is the development of, the, of this notion of, uh, of networked content. Um, now, it's interesting, uh, even as a sort of thought experiment, what would happen to Wikipedia um, if you turned off the, the bots um, just for one day? Uh, well, apparently, um, the, well, I mean, all the vandalism, all the, all the, all the, uh, um, um, flame wars, um, all of these things would just proliferate. Um, and it would be very, very hard for the humans, of course, to, to keep up. Um, and so the, 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 the idea of, uh, of, um, of Wikipedia as, as a kind of, as, as co-authored by bots in some ways, um, or at least kept, uh, main t- uh, held in place by bots, um, is is um, is behind the notion of uh, of network content, um, and the idea that that Wikipedia is in fact dependent on on uh, on bots. Um, these this is from a, uh, a couple of years ago, I think, but it's still the same. Like if you look at the top editors from Wikipedia, the list of top editors, you notice that they're all bots. Bots um, do a variety of things. I mean, not that it's it. Uh, the maintenance, etc., um, but uh, but also uh, sort of interlinking pages. Um, so it's a sort of bot, it's a kind of body a uh, bot uh, ecology uh, behind uh, Wikipedia. So what we did is we looked a little bit into um, the relationship between bots and humans. Who's doing the editing? Um, also per Wikipedia uh, language version, um, and in particular we zoomed in um, on. Uh, particular uh, languages, endangered languages, to, to think about the extent to which, and this is also in, the, in your reader in the article by, uh, by Niederer and, and von Dijk, to think about the, the extent to which um, uh, Wikipedia relies on, on non-humans and whether or not languages, even endangered languages, are, are being sort of kept alive in, in some sense by, uh, by bots. Um, and so this is a th- this this idea of uh, of networked content um, is is one contribution, but the second one, and this is your um, this is the subject of your uh, uh, of the worksheet this week and of, of the assignment, is to think of Wikipedia um, not as a reference work but as instead uh, uh, a cultural reference point, um, and uh, it's interesting. The, if you read the neutral point of view entry or article in Wikipedia, what is, what is said is that as articles mature, uh, um, as they, they grow older, 
then they, they become more and more solid. Uh, and, and, and so the more work that's done on an article, the, the more it, it becomes encyclopedia-like. Um, but we asked our question, in some sense, um, what, if the articles are neutral, who are they neutral to? Or to whom are they neutral? Um, so what we did, and this is in the, in the digital methods book, is we compared um, the pages on, on the Srebrenica massacre or genocide, depending um, on which Wikipedia article you look at. We compared them across different language versions. Um, the English, uh, the, the, the Dutch, uh, and the, the Serbian, uh, as well as the Bosnian. Those are the most important ones. Um, now, you may or may not know that Srebrenica, as it's normally pronounced, was, the, um, was a sort of safe haven um, during the, the Balkan Wars and run by um, a Dutch uh, UN contingent, Dutch Bat. And it was um, taken over by um, uh, Bosnian Serb forces and those forces uh, killed uh, a number of Bosnians. Some number, now the number changes uh, depending on which Wikipedia language version you, you look at. Um, so what we did is we compared them. And so you see um, that, first of all, what, what stands out is that, is that there are three different names of these pages. Um, the Dutch one is called, the name of the page is called The Fall of, uh, of Srebrenica. And that's kind of military language. Um, refers to a kind of military campaign, whereas um, the Serbian one calls it a massacre, and the Bosnian one and others calls it a genocide. Um, so you see very, very different kinds of, let's say, framings of, of, the, of the events. Um, so in order to do this sort of work, we looked at the various um, elements of, a, of an article. Um, so the title, um, the, uh, the editors, um, the table of contents of the articles, um, images, and the references. And for the table of contents, images, as well as references, uh, we have tools uh, which allow for uh, comparison. We also have another tool that, um, where you can look up the location of the editors, uh, but only um, the anonymous editors with their IP address. So you can, you can look at also, in some sense, who's or the, or the places of the edits. Where do these edits come from? Um, so this is the triangulation uh, tool. What we're doing here is we're comparing the references uh, across different Wikipedia language versions. Um, what the tool does is it takes um, uh, URLs, it, it takes what it takes text, or but in this case URLs, you can name each of the columns, um, and then you can compare them. And what you notice is that across the various Wikipedia language versions for for Srebrenica, uh, what you what you notice is there's only one shared reference across them all. So they're all being authored using different uh, references. So again, this, it, it, what we're looking at is, is, the, is the particular particularism or parochialism of these articles, not their universality. Right? So, so what we're doing is we're, we're, we're in some sense flipping uh, the idea of Wikipedia. It's not, a, it's, not in this, it's not a universal knowledge source. No, it's particularistic. Um, and if you think about, um, for example, I don't know, museums in various countries. So, so most, a lot of countries have a science museum or a technology museum. And if you go in there, there'll be different sort of technologies highlighted. So it's always the case that that so-called that so universal knowledge stores are, in fact, particularistic. Um, now, this is images. Um, and 
what we did here is we extracted the, the images from um, each of the Wikipedia language versions. Um, and then you see um, that the, no image makes all of the articles. Um, the types of images that tend to be in multiple articles are those of either um, uh, coffins, those are those green things of, for the, uh, uh, when, when a mass grave was exhumed uh, and the bodies were put into these coffins, and also the map um, and some gravestones. Um, but you see that there, there are many that only have two uh, Wikipedia language versions have, or, or only one, for example. Now, what I want to do is I want to zoom in really briefly um, on this one here. Uh, and you'll notice it's a, it's a gravestone. Um, and it's on the um, English one. It's on the Bosnian one. It's, but it's not on the Serbian one. And it's not on the Dutch one. And this is a very, very important um, reference point for the Bosnians in particular, because it's the gravestone of a 13-year-old uh, boy, um, which for the Bosnians is proof uh, that it was genocide, because the 13-year-old is not of fighting age. Um, so you're killing a people uh, not engaged in a military uh, campaign. So this is this is important, and 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 it's and it's and it's and it's sort of missing uh, from 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 some of the other versions. Um, so this gives you a really clear sense of, if you will, the politics of memory, um, um, and the pol the the, polit the and the and um, em and the various emphases uh, put on certain aspects of the of the history of that uh, of those events um, that are either. Um, present or, or absent um, in the in the different uh, uh, Wikipedia language versions. I want also want to mention, um, uh, and you'll undoubtedly talk about this in the in the upcoming workshop, um, the Contrapedia project, which is another uh, outcome of um, of digital methods, and it studies Wikipedia um, as a in some sense as a controversy machine. So every you can load an article into Contrapedia, and you can see which of the elements are most controversial uh, according to a number of measures uh, of con uh, that define controversiality. So, so it's an overlay on top of Wikipedia, um, which show you uh, which of the elements of the page have been uh, the, the, the source of, 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 of controversy. OK, so, so uh, what I've done. Um, is talk a little bit about Wikipedia as an object of study, sort of, and and in particular talked about how um, it, it's most often studied as an encyclopedia, or as its encyclopedia ness is is most often the the subject of study, the extent to which it's accurate or not, and then and then what it's good for, what it's good at, and what it's less good at, let's say, um, and talked a, a lot about it, Wikipedia as a publicity management tool, also. Um, as a as a kind of as a as a form, <coughs> form of collaborative authorship, a form of collaboration, um, as a as a bureaucracy, as a stigma, um, but also uh, as having a relationship with Google, which has which has abruptly changed uh, recently, and this is uh, an area which is sort of understudied the extent to which um, Google, whilst ironically or paradoxically using Wikipedia's content in its knowledge graph is actually depressing Wikipedia traffic. Um, Wikipedia was the fourth, uh, well, it's now the sixth largest uh, or the sixth most uh, trafficked site on the, on, on the web. Um, so it's, so it's studying Wikipedia is, is important. Um, and it's, it's a, also a significant project. But what I also tried to introduce are, are other ways of, of thinking about Wikipedia. Um, in particular, is thinking about it, its reliance on non-humans, on bots. Um, thinking about it, th therefore, as networked content, as a new, f in some sense, a new form of content, uh, as, as in, in some sense, co-authored uh, by by bots, um, as well as uh, as well as being non-universal, or not, in fact, an encyclopedia, uh, but rather as being very particularistic. 
uh, with the various language versions as being something which, is can, what, which one can study, in fact, as digital methods does, not just the online culture, not Wikipedia and how it works, but culture uh, through online data. That is, cultural, Wikipedia as, as, a, as cultural reference, as, as, um, um, as particularistic memory politics and uh, and history that's it have fun this week thanks very much